Mr. Johnny Estelle. Havlina Immense Basketball fans, welcome to a special edition of the Havlina Immense Basketball Show. My name is Andres Sandin. I'm a Havlina alum, and I served on the men's basketball team for four years. But most importantly, I'm privileged to be alongside Coach Johnny Estelle. Recently, Coach Estelle was inducted into the Navarro College Hall of Fame. During his tenure in Navarro, Coach was an assistant coach under Lewis Orr from 2000 through 2008, head coach from 2008 through 2013, Coach of the Year 2009, 2010 through 2012. Three National Junior Colleges National Tournament appearances, three region tournament titles, 126-48 coaching record, and he led Navarro to a ranking of number two in the nation, the highest since 1979. So coach, those accomplishments speak for themselves. So I see you here with this red jacket, and you were recently awarded, awarded to the Navarro College Hall of Fame. Just tell me your gratitude for Navarro College. What does it mean to you? Uh, first and foremost, thank you for those kind words. Um, none of that was done by myself. You know, that's, you know me enough to know that, you know, it was a lot of hard work. Uh, had a great staff, great administration, um, great players, man, that just gave me everything they had. You know, God blessed me with like a perfect storm. But um, Navarro College is a special place. You know, um, we had some guys from Havilah Nation, uh, Mr. Roach, uh, IED, and Molly, and Brad Walker, and Ruben Gonzalez had the, the uh, privilege to join me there, which I greatly appreciate. But they got to see f firsthand of how special Navarro College is, because Navarro is about the people. Um, to see all those people that have poured into my life, uh, guys that have uh, just just given me a chance and an opportunity um, to do what I love to do, which is coach and help people. It was very uh, mm, very emotional on many levels. Um, we had kids from uh, from 2000 to all the way 13. There was representation from every team, and you know they could have been anywhere in the, in the world at that point in time. But for them to be there to celebrate our moment, not my moment, but our moment. Um, it, it was just, it was just a heartfelt moment. And you talked about your relationships. That's for Coach Lewis Orr, Dr. Yes. Fagan, Michael Landers. Just what do they mean to your career? Would you be here at a and Kingsville if it wasn't for them? No, I mean, I think when we look back um, at our life, there's always people God puts in your life to help you. Um, Lewis Orr, um, as you know, I speak so much about him and what he means to me. Um, you know, when I went to Navarro, I didn't need a father even though I was about 25, 26 years old, but what I needed was a spiritual mentor and a man that was going to be able to uh, hone my skills and give me an opportunity. And Lewis Orr um, was exactly what I needed at that point in time in my life and what I need today. So, you know, he gave me a great foundation. Um, I had a chance to work with him for eight years uh, and learn from one of the best people that happened to be a coach in the business. And you know, you just move on from there. You have a Roark Montgomery who hired me there uh, as the head coach. Um, I look at Dr. Kenneth Martin, uh, who really mentored me. And you know, he was a man, a very successful um, a guy there that did a great job in administration that I looked up to. He always looked in, built into me. Um, he looked like me. He was an African American that was a class act guy that carried himself in a first class way. So. Uh, he built it to my career, and then Dr. Sanchez, Richard Sanchez, who, I mean, just one of the best uh, just people and leaders that I've ever been around that forwarded me an opportunity and did an unbelievable job with the culture there at Navarro College. And as for the legacy, I mean, I spoke when we first started this show, I mean, all those tournament appearances, the national ranking. How important is that for you, the legacy, knowing that you and your kids can go back and look at the history and be like, man, we accomplished something at Navarro College? You know, uh, it's, those things are nice to do. I mean, w you know, our program, you've been a part of it. Um, that's just the cream on the top for us. You know, we, we're, we're aiming every day to win and win championships, but we also want to win in life. And, you know, 
when I looked at all those young men that came back, and it was about 17 or 18 guys, uh, and they had children, they had families, wives. Man, I just couldn't tell you how much that meant to me. You know, because they carried those moments that we had at the beginning there at Navarro College, because that's a junior college, and most of them started their career there. And they took it to other places. And they took it beyond the court. You know, they took it to their families. And, and they're great leaders of men, uh, they're great fathers and husbands. So, as you know, that's a huge part of what we do. Um, it, it wasn't a business deal with those men. It was a relationship for life. And for them to be able to come back and we embrace and hug um, and just see the, uh, not to say the end result, because they're still writing their legacy. Their legacy didn't stop at Navarro. But to be able to see them come back and basically say, thank you, coach, or you are part of my life still today, man, that, that, that really made me feel special. And as for the whole experience as a whole, what do you want those kids to remember from that experience? Like, what is the biggest takeaway that you want them to always never forget that Coach Stell would want them to take away from their experience in the barrel? Well, it, that they took the model that we used to build the program, and I say we, I mean talking about Navarro itself, but I mean my staff, you know, Eric Colbert, you know, who's with me all five years, um, one of the most talented coaches I've worked with, Legend Wright, first guy I ever hired there, uh, man, energetic, uh, Bilal Batley, you know, Bilal Batley, who has worked at Navarro, Oklahoma, uh, Indiana, Memphis, um, then he went to Kentucky, then he came back to Navarro, then he went to University of Houston, just came back from the Final Four. He's impacted that place way beyond his years of uh, attendance. He's an excellent alumnus from there as well. Um, but then you look at, you know, Brian Crawford, who helped me that last year and what he's done. But then there was a guy named Jack Duffy, who, I mean, Jack was with us from 2002. Uh, and he's been a part of our family and he's impacted that program from afar. He's, he's a diehard and a very bulldog. So when I look at all that, I want those guys to see how important lifelong relationships are. And relationships are hard to maintain, you know, no matter if they're within your family or on a work, they're hard to maintain. But what keeps it going is the love and affection that you have for each other, a genuine love, so mm -hmm. to speak. And those guys have a genuine, a passionate commitment to not only Navarro College, but each other. And at the end of the day, that's, to me, way more bigger than any accolade that I would receive. And when I received this honor, I received it on behalf of them. And the principles that you brought to A&M Kingsville from Navarro College, what are those principles that you've adapted here with your program that you have right now that you're currently establishing to a high first class program? What have you brought from Navarro College to Texas A&M University Kingsville men's basketball? Well, you know, that's a great question. Um, it's a unique answer because I started my career here in the Havilland Nation. Mm -hmm. um, and I worked with Bill Carter, who I actually played for. I uh, worked with Todd Neighbors, who impacted my career for two years. And then, you know, we worked with Buzz Williams. And Buzz has been one of the most impactful people in my life on and off the court. But I kind of brought a little of the Havilland Nation there with me and it was a perfect storm to work with, man, some of the best people on the face of the earth, in my opinion. But then to mix it in with what Coach Orr's values were, um, it just kind of, it was a mix and match, so to speak. It was a perfect storm in a lot of ways that, um, man, the work ethic and the things that, you know, the way that Coach Orr approached um, his family life and balancing it with coaching and how he interacted with players and, and how he coached with such a high level of respect. I just continued that on as, you know, the head coach there and also, you know, when I became a part of the staff at Houston and I brought that with me here. And uh, I think those are things that, are, you know, some people call them non-negotiables. You know, for me, it's just who you are. And, um, you know, I want to always make coach proud. I always want to make the Havilland Nation and Navarro Bulldogs uh, Nation proud. And that's what motivates me. You know, it motivates me to for not let anybody down that built in my life, my, and my players, my family, and it, you know, the, all the people that have given me an opportunity. Yes, sir, that's very important. And as for November 1st, your team is gonna be playing against Buzz Williams and Texas A&M Aggies at Reed Arena. And besides the game, I mean, the story just speaks for itself. When you and Buzz were at Navarro College, did y'all ever envision that kind of game, an SEC opponent versus your 
alma mater in just such a big atmosphere? Like, did you, like I get goosebumps thinking about that. Like, did y'all ever envision that, Coach? Well, I mean, Buzz is just, you know, a very gracious um, brother that I have. Uh, he forwarded us this opportunity to play. And, uh, you know, a lot of times at our level, we don't get the opportunity to compete against um, teams of that caliber. But Buzz, is, if you know anything about him, he's a giving person. He's a person that always never forgot where he came from. And you think about this, you know, uh, there was 12 inductees, and only two of them could not attend the event, you know, because they, one was a football coach who had a game, and then one plays for the Texas Rangers, and he, could, he had a game. But we had, you know, Chris Davis, who basically played in the major leagues. He was there. And then when I looked out, you know, of all the other people, there's Buzz Williams. You know, he's in the middle of recruiting. Um, He's a SEC high-level coach that, you know, deals with, you know, the highest level of athletics. But he always remember where he came from. So to get back to your question of asking, you know, you know what it's going to be like, it's going to be um, very emotional. You know, you don't really get a chance sometimes to uh, either compete or work alongside the people that impact you the most. Um, but the last time you was a part of that, uh, Walk, going up and walking into Reed Arena and, you know, getting our kids, you know, feeling the experience, the positive experience and our fans. I think it's a, it's, it's a very exciting moment, not only for me or for the team, but the Hamilton Nation. Um, you know, the A&M system is a great system, uh, but to be able to sit there and represent the Hamilton Nation on the big stage and, uh, with a great friend of mine, a brother of mine, it's going to be, I mean, one of the biggest things that ever happened to me in my career. I agree. And as for this jacket, I mean, this jacket looks special. It looks beautiful. I mean, when you think of those jackets, you think of the NFL, Canton, Ohio, but I know this is the exact same representation through your eyes. What did it mean to receive this jacket and what did it mean to put it on? Well, I mean, I got to give all the credit to Dr. Fagan. I mean, the president of Navarro is a first, you know, top-notch guy, first-class guy. Uh, man, if you haven't met a gentleman that has it, you know, we always say some people have it, he has it. And Mike Landers did a phenomenal job with his uh, group there that just manned the committee. And, you know, they, they, they didn't want to just have a Hall of Fame. You know, I, I, and I didn't coach to ever be in a Hall of Fame, to be honest with you. You know, when I coached there, we didn't have one. It's just only been in existence for a couple of years. But the way that they put that together collectively, uh, man, I, I can't tell you, you know. But I'm going to tell you a funny story. When I worked with Buzz, you know, and we worked here, he told me about, he says, you know, Johnny, we was recruiting one day and one night coming back. And he goes, you know, you've made it when, you know, you go and pick up your rental car and they have your name in lights. And I thought about that and I, meant, I failed to mention that in my induction speech. But that night, it was way more than having my name in lights as being a high major coach or whatever. It was like, man. You're being recognized by one of the most prestigious colleges on the face of the earth. Um, a college that, man, as you can tell, do nothing but first class. And when I put this jacket on, and from this day forward, when I put this jacket on, I will wear it with nothing but the utmost pride. Uh, I'm a Havelina at heart. This, you know how I care about Texas University of Kingsville and what it's done for my family. But I'm telling you, I bleed red. And the Vero College, I just can't tell you enough and thank them enough because just the infrastructure alone, you know what it did the most for, for me and my family? It took care of my players. And my players, as you know, mean the most to me. So that's why when I look at Navarro about it being a special place, it's not the money I made or the accolades, it's about how they took care of our kids. And they always put students first. So. The Vero College is a place that you need to put on your bucket list. You need to go visit and walk around the campus. You need to talk to the people because I tell you what, you'll learn a lot about how to treat people and how to excel and doing it collectively with a family attitude. And last but not least, I was on your Facebook and you said it was one of the best days of your life. Yes. Why is that, Coach? You know, uh, I've had a lot of great moments. I mean, in terms of what I think is great moments meaning, you know, it, to me a great moment may not be the same to somebody else. But that day, um, to see everybody that in one room, you know, my mother was there. My mother has never seen me coach a basketball game because she's not been able to, to have her there, you know, and you know I've lost my father and my sister 
uh, which was quite emotional. To have my mentor, Lewis Orr, there to be there, to have Buzz Williams there, uh, to have the whole uh, Bulldog Nation there, my players, my staff, uh, support staff that have worked with me there in one setting. My high school coach, Dale oh, Snelling, wow, was awesome. there. It was over 50 people there, and for them to be there as I scanned the, 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 the audience, man, I said, wow. I always want to be known for bringing people together. You know, I always want to be known for people that, yeah, the, the, maybe all the other stuff you mentioned earlier is important, but I want people to know that I love them. And you know how much we, you know, we tell each other we love each other there. And that w is the first setting where I could have people that have impacted me from the age of 14 or 15 or from birth with my mother to my high school coach to my career to my players to be able to sell them thank you and say this award is for us, not me. That was the best part of the day. So that's, that's kind of what it summed up to me. And you know, and my beautiful family was there, my wife and children, which, and my mother-in-law was there. So you know how we you know, do things here in the Estelle home. So all of that together, man, is what made it special. Yes, sir. So, Coach, we can honestly say you've made an impact on the Merrill College, Texas a and University, Kingsville as a player, now as a coach. And you've impacted my life, which I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful to experience it in the Merrill way. Even though I wasn't there, I can tell the Merrill was a first-class way by the way you treat Texas A&M Kingsville. So, for that, thank you. And most importantly, congratulations. You've earned it. You deserve it. And I'm forever grateful for you. I will always be a Navarro Bulldog. I will always be a Texas A&M University, Kingsville, Havelina. I love you both. I'm going to go, go half and go Bulldogs. Yes, sir. So thank you so much, Havilene Nation, for tuning in. Once again, my name is Andres Sandin, and this is the recently inducted Navarro Hall of Famer, Coach Johnny Estelle, in his magnificent, beautiful red jacket. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.